<laughs> oh, where I'm at. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's open again. Oh my god, I'm the worst defender ever. <laughs> All right, so what's next? Oh, our pre-draft interview. Team tonight, GM of the Clippers here. What's up, man? We have the 25th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd right, like right. to ask you a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. No problem. The Clippers have been able to bring in a lot of talent the last few seasons, and we feel like our lineup is pretty much set for the future, except out on the wings. With that said, we plan really? on taking a very close look at you when our pick comes up. How do you feel your game blends in with our other young guys like Blake, CP3, and DeAndre? I should tell him, like, I should take CP3's job. Never mind. Uh, I can support them. Well, you guys have a great core enough, and I would do my part to fit in. I know I wouldn't be the primary option with CP3 and Blake That's on the court, but I think I have the scoring ability to keep teams from focusing too much on them. I'd oh love my to come God. to LA and help you guys get to the next level. I wonder if my dude can dunk. That was a very politically correct answer I just gave, but I wonder if I can dunk. Now we taking Blake's Okay, job. last question. This team has a lot of momentum right now. We've gone through a rough patch for well a while now, but with guys like Chris Paul and Blake Griffin on hand, we no really doubt. feel like we're on the up and up as you saw last year. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? Damn, I, I should have been a point guard. Oh, my phone. Sorry. I should have really been a point guard. I mean, I know honestly. I that I would come in and be a complimentary player. With the all-star talent you already got in place, the best thing I can do is come in and ease my way into the flow of things. I'm comfortable taking my time to grow into my role with the team. I know with guys like Chris and Blake on the squad, man, good things will happen if I just let them do their thing. Whatever. <laughs> it's not what I'm saying in my head. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any Thank luck, you. you'll fall to us in the draft. That is crazy. I didn't know they had all this in here. Oh, the Pacers. I would not play for the freaking Pacers, especially hey, if I'm a wing player. Good game tonight. I'm what the, the hell? You got Danny Pacers. Granger. We're strongly considering drafting you with the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft. Uh -huh. First, I'd like to ask a couple questions about how you'd fit in here before we take that step. I don't First think that question. I would. It looks to me like you're best when playing out on the wing. This is arguably our deepest position. Exactly. Fuck that. I'm not playing for y'all. Play there. No. Nope. Getting minutes at the two and the three is going to be a tough task, especially for a rookie. For who? We think you have talent. Mm. You have to be willing to fight for floor time here. Uh, yeah, Are not you happening. Prepared to do that? Nope. <laughs> not at all, sir. <laughs> nope. Man, you guys are loaded at the wing. And, uh, real talk. Oh my I God! Not that I said real talk. talk. You already stacked with talent out there, and bringing me on would be redundant. I hey, at least you know. a good fit in Indiana. Exactly. I don't. I, the, as soon as they came up, I, what would I do on the wing with Danny Granger and uh, what's his face All out right, there? Ben, Come on one now. One more. We realize that here in Indianapolis, we don't have the appeal of some of the big market exactly. teams. We Snow. tend to look for players who would be proud to be and part of this organization. Doughy white chicks. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Indiana Pacers. Mm -hmm. We need someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of this team. Yeah, Is not going to happen. You? No. No. Mm, I don't know, to be honest <laughs> with you. I'm still so young. I haven't played a single minute. He sounds really NBA ignorant yet, so for a second. Then he kind of cleans it up. I here and tell you with any certainty that I'm going to play my entire NBA career for one team. Yeah. Especially not in Indiana. Those dudes freaking turn on Thanks you in a heartbeat out there. Questions. Nope. I don't know that we're a fit for you this time. Exactly. We'll even discuss internally. Hey, I'll no problem. Touch. Hmm. Lose my number. <laughs> Lose my number, sir. Thanks. I Good play for San Antonio. GM of the Spurs here. We're picking 28th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. Right, All right, right. Let's get to it. As a whole, the San Antonio Spurs have kept the same core for the better part of a decade now. That's true. We found a winning formula and stuck by it, just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary. Unfortunately, the time has come where we need to start thinking about overhauling the roster. We really love the idea of you being a part of that process. What do you think about being a centerpiece for the new San Antonio Spurs? Actually, yeah, I can run with Tony Parker. Uh, what you call to be out? We got Blake. 
The one with the bad knees. What's his name? Look, San Antonio has had a great run. Yeah. It's time for a change. I get it. To be a part of that rebuilding effort is a big commitment. It's years of struggling to acquire the right pieces to turn everything around. Yep. I've seen what this front office can do, and I'm a firm believer they can do it better than anybody else. If they need me, I won't give anything less than 110%. Yeah, that's a good answer, though, honestly. That's what I would have said. Next question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? I was freaking terrible, my God. Please don't judge me on that. Uh... It wasn't my bet. Oh, no. I played terrible. Terrible, man. Exactly. Terrible. <laughs> it's awful. And this was my chance to go out on a huge stage and show the world what I can do. I just didn't get it done tonight. I'm way, way better than what you saw out there tonight. Trust me, man. No. That was not my game out there. No doubt, Shelby. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. Thanks. I think um, between the Spurs and uh, the what was that? The not seventy six. The Clippers. I think I'll probably end up with. Yeah, I'd say the Clippers. I don't know if I really want to play with them because CP three doesn't necessarily mean he gonna get me the damn ball. NBA draft tonight marks the realization of a dream for some of the best young players in the he world. He kind of sounds like a David Stern, but he does sound like an imposter. It's also a time of extraordinary hope and excitement for our fans and our teams. I know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight just can't wait to join the NBA family. So okay. let's get started. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett Whoa! of Toronto Cavaliers. Oh my God, what are they picking? They're picking 25th. Oh no, hold on. Let's... The Indiana Pacers. So it is, it's kind of nerve wracking trying to figure out if I'm going to be drafted or not. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Hey, hey, no, I don't like this. A little bit nervous. The New York Knicks select Tim Hardaway Jr. from the University of Michigan. Tim Hardaway Jr. Your dad was pretty awesome. He's tall, With damn. With the 25th pick in the 2013 Come on, Clippers. NBA draft, the Los Angeles Clippers select Max ah. from Georgia State <laughs> University. Ah. Get up, son. Oh, look at that. 11 points, 3 assists, 1 block. I suck. I'm tall. Well, I mean, I'm taller than I really am, but yes. Contract negotiations. Oh, I don't even really get anything. I'm stuck at my rookie deal. Wow, that's not good. Two years. I make 500 gold coins <laughs> a year. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, I accept the freaking contract. It's whack. I'm gonna need somebody to, uh... Well, I mean, I was a first rounder, so... Because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. 